Hey, how's it going? It's Thursday, March 17th. It's uh, St. Patrick's Day, and uh, we're going to solve the New York Times crossword. This one's constructed by Daniel Bodily and Jeff Chen. Um, Jeff Chen is uh, from Xwords, Xword Info. He's a uh, He's a regular on the crossword scene. Um, the other guy, though, Daniel, I'm not familiar with. So um, I'm guessing this is going to be, this is, I don't even know why I bother to guess things like this, but I'm guessing it's going to be like a high concept, weird Thursday theme that needed a little help from um, Jeff Chen, needed a little polishing up. Um, but who knows? Something to click. It's probably an icon. Pigeons on a platter. Like squabs squabs yeah wisecracks quips that would work right squabs fancy kind of little chicken um something trivia astronomical news it's like a, a nova maybe i don't know um term of address for many a respected elder strand in a cell it's either dna or rna right um serious schlep it's like a hall tote a trek maybe trek being pulled along in tow so yeah a trek it's a like trek is this short legged herding dog is a corgi Astronomical news looks like Nova might be a winner there. Secure. Launcher sort is an ogre. A nail polish brand. <clears throat> I think this is like, it's either Opie or Opa. Leave with no strings attached. That sounds like untie. So I think Opie is a winner. Um, give permission to allow let uh, I don't know. totally misses or totally surveys that's probably overlooks um english is funny like that right where one word either means you're seeing everything or you're seeing nothing um uh, trick hmm. uh uncouth untruth this is a naked lie Trick wild goose chase. I don't know. Some frozen drinks, probably ices, like you get at the movie theater. Global manufacturer of chemical products. What Graham Greene called a failure of imagination. Hmm. Unflinching, stoic. Requested pickup time on many online orders. Probably noon, I guess, right? That'd be the most, single most common time. Uh, how's it going? Sup? What to do before the answers to the stars? What to do before the answers to the stars clues, start clues will make sense. Hmm. Take a something, make a something. Well, this is stew. So cake, select, tap. Voting block. Didn't wax. It's probably waned, like the moon. Incense in a sense. Senate majority leader from 96 to 2001. Mm. Like men's double-breasted suits. I feel like that might be like retro. Spec. So the, the theme, I'm not, I'm pretty lost on this theme, but I mean, but I think this is wild goose chase, right? I don't know why, but um, I feel like it's gonna all make sense sooner or later. Um, destination of the first marathon. I think that's probably Athens, the Olympics. Uh, something roaring. Words that may scare off a buyer, as is riot, afflictions, right? ills. Could be woes, woes, ills. 
What is this? The jalapeno has the habanero lax. Hmm. Number of a certain rear bowling pin. 10, I guess. The hair of one's chinny chin chin goatee. Get on board. Aber of Bolivia. User manual. Optometrist offering casually. That's a pretty good first pass, um, but I'm totally lost on this <clears throat> theme here, so I'm not sure how that's going to play out. A watering hole in many Westerns. Watering hole. Idiot. No. Watering hole. It's a... Oh, saloon. Duh. Um, expected elder auntie, maybe? QB attempts. Let's say this is probably auntie. Bias, bitter feeling. Words repeated while scrolling through a Netflix list, perhaps. Seen it. So what is this, though? Secure. Yikes. Voyager 1 for 1. Hmm. Could it be a drone? Drone? Give permission to. Hmm. Try to end a pin, uncle. Makes as cakes, like bakes, probably, right? Something trivia. Pub trivia. Voyager probe. Give permission to. Oh, so this is so bias is wrong. This is enable. Race to the bottom. This is little rock. Little rock. What to do before the answers of the stars quiz will make sense? Little rock. Secure is little rock. Hmm. Interesting. Um, well, so I guess this isn't going to be Wild Goose Chase, probably. Having mucho dinero is Rico. Wild Roses. Something of sunset. Um, failure of imagination. Hmm. So I don't, I think Galoot is going to be like Oaf, maybe? Hmm. Company whose name comes <clears throat> from a term in the game of Go. Yikes. Um, farm outbuilding. Farm outbuilding. Popular site for holiday gift orders. Santa's something. Application is use. Many a prof has a PhD. Um, something attack. Like Uno. Uno. Uncommon bills are two dollar bills. This is going to be take out the trash, right? Didn't really, didn't really get it, but take out the trash. Galoot is an ape. Something of sunset. Hmm. So pick up time on many online orders. Oh, ASAP. Oh, Shaw's of a sunset. Hate is a failure measure. Okay. That's, interesting. That's an interesting quote. I don't really know who Graham Greene is, but um, me whose name comes from, so it's probably Atari. I'm going to guess. Uh, farm out buildings, a sty. Voting block is uh, 
And this probably is voting block N-A-Y-S. Is that gonna be right? That doesn't feel great. Some hairstyles in punk fashion. Hmm, hairstyles in punk fashion. I mean, all I can think of is a mohawk. Um, in a sense, in a sense, I guess odor maybe. Oreo O's, odor, wait, don't go. Um, expires. Like ceases. I don't know. Um, certain pan Africanist informally. This might be Rasta. Rasta. And this would be retro. Air up there is the ether. Flip flop is a thong. Okay. A keynote is a speech. Keynote, like oratory. It's a keynote. Car part that moves rhythmically. Hmm. What a jalapeno has that a habanero lacks. Oh, it's a tilde. I was thinking about spiciness and seeds and all kinds of things, but it's uh, just a grammatical thing. One of England's so-called home counties. Is that Essex? Boat, oops, boat that's good in shallow water. Is that a scow? Scow? Scow. Okay. Took off. All right. So take out the trash. So how does this work? So trick is wild, W-I-L-E. So the trash is everything that's circled. Secure is lock, okay. Um, so it's just, you just get rid of what's ever in the, in the circles, easy enough. Um, I should know who was the Senate Majority Leader. Awkward that I don't, but I don't. Um, spec is an iota, I-O-T-A. So what is this? Something state, Iowa state? Sure, why not? Um, and so like, does, does Iowa state just have nothing to do with, those are just extra letters that we're just ignoring? Eh, not a huge fan. Um, rip roaring. Um, hoot, hoot, okay. Um, and this must be 4-H. Her part that moves rhythmically is a wiper, windshield wiper. Owner's manual, shoot, craps, took off, ran, tires, lapses. Major a lot rat tails. Um, get on board is load or laid. Specs Santa's lap. Um, well, that's eh, I don't I don't love this theme. I mean, it just feels disconnected. If like. So Little Rock has nothing to do with anything. All we care about is lock, L-O-C-K. Wild Rose has nothing to do with anything. We just know that it's W-I-L-E, Wild. Eh, I, I just I feel like it needs to be more connected to be very effective. Um, having said that, 1302 for a live solve Thursday, like pretty, pretty darn quick. And I feel oh, good about that solve it was smooth and did offer me plenty of you know moments of uh uncertainty um i really wasn't sure what the theme was doing there for a while um i was for some reason convinced this was going to be wild goose chase and it wasn't even close um but i wouldn't have guessed that the long answer was totally unrelated to whatever the theme was uh that seems odd like i mean you guys saw i you know i filled in iota but then like what what hints do you have towards Iowa State? And the answer is nothing, I think. Um, 
Santa's lap, popular site for a holiday gift order. That's pretty clever because uh, site, you know, we're thinking it's Amazon or eBay or something. Um, Shaw's of Sunset, I'm curious about what that, I, I'm, I mean, so it's on Bravo, it must be a reality show about like rich Arabian people, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Um, Uno attack. Sure. Why not? Like, don't go. Eh, it's kind of boring. Um, certain Pan-Africanist informally. That's, I, I liked, I liked Rasta. That was a nice kind of aha moment for me. Um, this is pretty cute. The hair of one's chinny chin chin, maybe, uh, goatee. Anyways, um, it was, it was a smooth solve, which is good. Oh, what is this? Nays voting block. Oh, the eyes and the nays, nays have it. Eh, I don't, that word looks, I mean, it just jumps off the page. as like, what is that? What is that unfamiliar word? Nays, nays potato chips. Um, yeah, I don't know. It was okay. It was smooth uh, without any huge holes, but this theme really kind of leaves me wanting take out the trash. Like, so these letters are trash and the other ones aren't just because they're in circles. Like, I guess, I mean, um, I don't know. It just seems a little bit thin to me, um, but nice smooth solve and nice quick one on a Thursday and um, all that. So um, I'm going to stop yammering. I haven't said anything in several minutes and why waste your time or mine? Uh, I've got plenty of other things to do. It's St. Patrick's Day. So naturally I'm going to a dumpling party, Chinese food themed dumpling party, which I don't think anyone realized it was St. Patty's Day. Um, but who cares? Because you can eat dumplings 365, 24-7. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, please click like. That way I know you liked it. And uh, if you liked it a lot and want to see more like it, then please subscribe to my channel. Um, I'd appreciate it. And it'll help keep me motivated to keep making these videos for no apparent reason other than your subscribership and your likes. So from me to you direct. Uh, anyways, though, enough, enough of the Thursday puzzle. Appreciate you guys joining me here for a live solve of the New York Times and um, hope you'll join me again next time, probably in about a week um, or so. And uh, until then, keep puzzling and hope you enjoy your weekend. Thanks. Bye.